Tonight, a bombshell document leaked indicating abortion rights in America could soon change dramatically. Politico has obtained a draft of a Supreme Court opinion indicating abortion rights in the 1973 Roe v. Wade decision could be overturned this summer. Tonight, some former and current lawmakers are reacting to the leaked draft. Former U.S. Senator and Republican gubernatorial candidate David Perdue tweeting just after noon that he and his wife Bonnie believe every child is a gift from God and that if he were governor, he would call the legislature back into a special session to ban abortion in Georgia. And Democratic candidate for governor Stacey Abrams tweeting minutes later that she's enraged by the draft. She says if she's elected, she would, quote, defend the right to an abortion and fight for reproductive justice. Our team coverage continues now with Latasha Givens. Latasha, you just spoke with U.S. Senator Reverend Raphael Warnock a little more than an hour ago about this issue. That's right, Sheba. Senator Warnock says his focus right now is bringing the Women's Health Protection Act back up for a vote, which aims to preserve access to abortions. We, we just woke up in a different world. Fighting for all Georgians to have adequate health care includes protecting their reproductive rights, too. During his bid for office, he was endorsed by pro-choice organizations, including Planned Parenthood. During a virtual press conference this afternoon, Warnock says, in a country where we have high rates of maternal death while women are giving birth, he fears we'll have even higher rates of death because women won't have equal access to care if Roe versus Wade is overturned and the states have the right to enact laws restricting or banning abortion. I've always said uh, that a patient's room is too small and cramped a space for a woman, her doctor, and the United States government. Warnock also stresses the attention over who leaked the opinion is simply a distraction. This is a decision that literally changes women's lives forever. Uh, and I don't understand how you could be more outraged about uh, what you see as a violation of the court's privacy around its process than you are about women's privacy uh, as they make the most important and tender decisions about their lives. The Women's Health Protection Act passed the House mostly by party lines, but it doesn't appear to have enough support in the Senate where debate was blocked by a filibuster in February. She